you can access Microsoft Teams from your main Office 365 homepage, looking for the Teams icon, or no matter where you are in Office 365, look for the app launcher and the Teams icon. It may be down your list depending on how you have your app icons organized, but just look for Teams. That's going to open this up. This is a team. Essentially, a team is a conversation collaboration area that can include conversations, files, notes, and a few other things as well. So it has a lot of similarities to the Office 365 groups. On the left side, you can see your upcoming meetings, get access to your files, even has some Skype for Business chat integration uh, as well. We'll talk about the assignments piece, which is an option for teachers who'd like to use um, Office 365 for digital assignments, similar to what you use with Microsoft Classroom, which is no longer in service. We'll come to that in a little bit. So within a team, um, these are different kind of conversation areas. They always create one called general, but you can make more of these conversation tabs. You can, they're called channels. So I can call it uh, staff meetings. So if you want to have kind of back channel conversations as your staff meetings are going on, if you want to have one for um, celebration planning, if you have certain uh, committees that you want to have, Let's see, you have an educational technology committee. You can make several of these little channels and they all look and function the same way. It's just a way of organizing those different conversations with different people. So you can kind of filter and get to the area you want to. On your team uh, space, you can add people. So you can start typing um, your staff uh, name, the names of the people in your staff you'd like to add. I'll show you in a minute how you can bring over uh, functionality from your current Office 365 staff room group to automatically add a team functionality to it. So that way you wouldn't have to add in all your staff members. Uh, once you've added in your staff members, you can just start typing names in. Um, you know, at that point, you can just start adding content here. And so, you know, they have a place to start typing. So I can type a simple message and just enter it in here. It can be a conversation starter uh, that others can reply to if they want to. Um, you know, you can, you can edit or delete your own messages that you've made. Um, it's also a way where you could add things from your OneDrive, uh, or even upload from your computer to add some files to the conversation. There are some fun emojis as well as uh, animated GIFs that you can add. You can just do a search uh, to add some of that, uh, a little bit of fun factor to the, your conversations. In a similar way, you can add some fun stickers uh, and images to those collaborative conversations. In fact, there's even some really fun ones like memes that you could create. So success kid, you can even type what you want. Um, so if I, if I want to put that in there, uh, just hit enter and it'll put it up there. So, I mean, you can add a lot of different functionality to that. Uh, there is a video feature that they say is coming to the web soon. Um, it, it's similar to Skype for Business video. Um, it doesn't function yet through the web. So that's a very quick look at some initial functionality you can get from your Office 365 Teams for staff collaboration.